Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a more autumn themed video and I'm filming my autumn makeup look. Do excuse my face today. Usually my skin is actually quite good like recently in my life because of the skincare I use, face masks that I use and facial cupping and all that kind of thing and drinking more water but this is not a spot. This is dry skin. It's so annoying and I think there might be a little spot as well but it's mainly dry skin. It's really annoying. As soon as the cold weather hits I get dry skin and I never usually have it because I have oily skin. So I do not like that. That is annoying. I like oily skin. I do not like dry skin. So let's um, just swipe along from that. But today I'm going to do an autumn makeup look. Like just kind of what I would say is inspired by autumn in terms of main, mainly the eyeshadow and the lip colour. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's zoom you in. Okay. So first of all, I am going to put my headband on. I sell these headbands on my website, freshfaceskincare.shop. However, I'm thinking of closing that website and actually selling on Etsy and eBay now instead of, of that website. Just because of costs and things like that, I think that's going to cost me more money to have the website done to sell on eBay and Etsy. But we can see in the future if I want to reopen that again, I can do. But... For now, I'm not going to, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I've decided not to sell these headbands anymore. I've actually done a sale on my website today, but you won't see this video until after. And literally so many headbands sold really, really quickly. So I was like, oh my God. So I quickly had to put the ones that had run out out of stock before anyone bought any more. Um, so they went quick because I discounted them down from £4.50 to £1.50 because I'm just getting rid of stock. Like, if I didn't discount them, they probably wouldn't sell very quickly, so I just wanted to get rid of them. So there we go. So, first of all, I am going to prime my face. I'm actually using what the OG YouTubers used years ago when Nikki Tutorials mentioned that this would make a good primer. This is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. The reason why everyone said that it made a good um, primer, which it does, is because it's got glycerin in it, which makes your skin like nice and tacky. I'm bringing out a gel moisturizer soon as part of like my skincare range and that's got glycerin in as well so it's an ingredient that i really like i like kind of like the glowy look and like the tackiness that it has but that will be coming out very soon i'll do a video on that probably next week so now for foundation usually i would use a beauty blender to buff in my foundation sometimes a brush but usually i'd use a beauty blender but not today because i can't be bothered to go and wet it so i'm just going to use a brush but i'm using my wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade soft beige this is my all-time favorite foundation ever just got my mirror by the way if i'm looking down and i love this it matches like my skin type perfectly i have oily skin so i love this foundation for that I'm not really doing anything as such today. I don't really need to go ham on the foundation. I'm just gonna be watching Bake Off at my mom's house tonight. But we can still do our makeup for this video. So I'm gonna take this brush. I think I got it from Primark actually and I'm just gonna blend this in. I much prefer using a sponge to a brush because I find that brushes leave streak marks and I really don't like the finish in terms of that. Um, however, you do get a little bit more coverage with a brush than you would do with a beauty blender, which is kind of nice to have like a beauty blender because sometimes you don't want your face to look like it's got loads of foundation on it. Might struggle, struggle, struggle to cover the dry skin spot situation, but blemishes and spots don't really bother me a whole load. That is foundation done. I'm now going to conceal and I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair number five. This is an amazing concealer. I really, really love this. They reformulate, uh, they repackaged it. It used to have a different packaging and also a different size doe foot and this is much bigger, which is a lot better. Um, I don't, I actually hate applying concealer with a brush. I really do because it just goes everywhere. It's not precise. With a beauty blender, it's more precise. So I'm gonna blend this in. I kind of work section by section um, because it is one of those concealers that does dry out and you don't want it to dry on your face before you've had a chance to blend it in. That's all I'm gonna say. 
I do apologize for that. And I also apologize to my neighbors for scaring the poop out of them. This is a really nice coverage. That's why I like this so much because it is really full coverage. Um, and I like how it brightens my face. So yeah, I would recommend this concealer 100%. It's really, you know, cheap and affordable and it is really, really good. And I'm 100% rebuying this um, when it runs out. A little bit on the chin and forehead and we're done. I feel like I've been applying concealer for like an attorney. Okay, so this is my foundation and concealer base done. I know it looks very ghostly and, you know, Halloween-esque, but I am going to add, you know, bronzer and everything. So I'm going to powder. I'm using my collection pressed powder, this one, and it's in the shade number 18 ivory. I just go for cheap powders. I don't need expensive powders. For me, my skin stays matte due to my foundation rather than my powder. I find that dewy foundations are not good for me. I do not like them with my oily skin, um, but matte foundations tend to keep my skin looking nice and um, matte all day, but not too matte, but yeah. So any powder is good for me. Right, I'm just gonna contour very, very quickly. I'm using this sleek contour palette here. It's quite old. It's in the shade Fair 372. They might not have this, but they probably do because it's like a core product. But I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and under my jawline a little bit. I just realized I used the wrong brush. I was meant to use this for bronzer instead of um, contour. I have a different brush for everything. Never mind, we're on to bronzer. This is the collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. I always, always say this. I don't understand why it's called Bronze Glow when it's a matte, um, a matte powder. I just can't get my head around that, but maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna bronze up my forehead. I think bronzer, personally, is one of my favorite products because look at the difference that it makes. Like, it literally just makes your skin go from really pale and, like, flat, if you know what I mean, because you've done the foundation um, and concealer to actually, like, looking like you've got, like, a slight tan. <laughs> A little bit on the chin. Right, for blusher, I'm using this blusher from Lidl. It's in the shade number three, Sweet Harmony. And this is an amazing blusher. It's only just over a pound from Lidl. And I really, really like it. It works really well. It's nice and pigmented. It's a nice color. And I really love it. So I would recommend, you know, I'm definitely the person to tell you, you don't need really expensive makeup. I think products especially i think when it comes to things like foundations you have to find what suits you and sometimes that can be slightly more expensive depending on what you're looking for but when it comes to things like blushes please do not waste your money um on like really expensive things especially if you know the brand is like still not cruelty free and it's really expensive or something like that like just don't do that because i cannot completely understand why you'd want to pay a little bit more if the brand is cruelty free and if you know the product's going to last ages and if it's like really highly pigmented etc but you know you know it's up to you it depends what people prefer but i'm going to use this highlighter palette which is something i picked up from amazon i really don't know what this is if i'm honest but it's a glow kit and i use all the shades in the palette um I mix these two together for like my cheekbone highlighter and it's really nicely pigmented considering it was cheap it is nicely pigmented it did arrive smashed but that didn't bother me too much because I can still use the product um, and then I mix these two together for the nose so there's my nose tip of the nose then for my cupid's bow here above my lip, I'm using this kind of more like yellowy smashed shade, which again, it doesn't bother me that it's smashed. And that's my highlighting done. And then I just take this um, little brush and I just kind of blend everything together. This is what I used to do my powder with and I just like to kind of blend everything in together, you know. I just do, you know, you know. Right, now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. 
So I'm going to use this spoolie. Again, this is something that's on my website. I'm sure it will still be on my website when this video goes up. So go and check these out. You get three of them for £1.50. So nice and cheap. But they are super handy. And I've literally had this for like two months. So yeah, definitely lasts you a long time. Because that's only one. Then I'm using my Body Shop brow and liner kit in the shade number three and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I use the lighter brown shade on the inner part and the darker kind of more like blacky brown shade on the outer sort of section but I won't talk you through it, I'll just do it and you can see. Right, I think I finished my brows. I do struggle with brows these days. I don't know why, I just struggle to get them to match and to actually look all right in the first place. But I think they look okay. You know, I just hate it when my brows don't look natural. And obviously they're not gonna look natural anyway when I draw them on, but I mean, just don't want them to look really fake. But you know, we'll have to live with what we've got. So I'm going to now do eyeshadow, which is kind of where the autumn vibes actually hit us. I've got, hello, I've got my Morphe, I think it's 39A, yeah, my Morphe 39A palette, which is this one here, and I'm just going to use this middle shade here as a little transition shade into my like crease of my eye. I think I'm going to go in with this like golden -y shade up here. And I'm going to pop that kind of on the inner corner of my eye and then just make it a little bit darker. This is going to be, Jesus Christ, Georgie, this is going to be kind of a dark like makeup look. So inner corner of the eye. And then on the outer corner, I think I'm going to take this like really deep brown shade, which is just here. That does look quite dark on the camera. Oh my God, that's nearly black. Ah, well, never mind. That's what we're going for. I don't mind experimenting with eyeshadows. Like I'm completely comfortable with doing a really intricate eyeshadow look and just leaving the house. Because I know some people would feel a little bit self-conscious, you know, experimenting with eyeshadows and then like leaving the house. But I think... For me, it's just, I don't really care. <laughs> like I can happily leave the house with no makeup on and I can happily leave the house with makeup on. So it just does not bother me. When it comes to my makeup, unless I think my makeup looks really terrible, like if I think it looks terrible, then I'm like, oh damn. Now I often find, this is a little bit of a random conversation, um, but I do often find that I'm actually more confident and I feel less self-conscious when I have no makeup on than when I have makeup on. And some people may say like, oh, you you only put makeup on to feel confident or because you think you look good and therefore you're putting it on. I put makeup on like an art form. Like my makeup is like playing with colors. If I don't do any eyeshadow or anything, I get bored doing my makeup. You know, I'm I'm not really doing it for a reason. I don't do my makeup unless you know, there's somewhere to go and I'm like excited to use different colours. But if I'm just going to be at home, I don't tend to do makeup unless I've got nothing to do in the day. And I really just want to fill the day with stuff and doing your makeup. It's one of those things that you can do, but I enjoy my makeup. I sometimes feel more self-conscious wearing makeup because I know that a lot of people can judge you um, for the fact that you've done your makeup and stuff. If it's quite, in, you know, extravagant, if it's quite extravagant, some people will judge you. And... You know, I don't really care how load, but people will often assume something about you by the way that your makeup is. For example, if I had full face of makeup on, maybe someone would be slightly more intimidated by my presence than if I had no makeup on, which I understand because that's how I feel sometimes with certain people. Um, I would feel more intimidated by somebody that's wearing like tons and tons of makeup and like false eyelashes and everything than if 
um, they were to wear no makeup. So I don't really understand it, but it's true. And then to kind of like make it a little bit more autumn vibe, um, I'm going to use this kind of brownie shade on the outer um, corner just to smoke that out a little. And I am going to take some on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that brownie shade that I used, just used and I'm going to pop it on the lower lash line. But on the outer corner of the lower lash line, like literally just here, I don't like to take it on the inner corner. I like to keep it very much kind of out. My knees are killing me. I've been on my knees this whole time. Lol. And now I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. I'm just going to take the really kind of paley sort of white shade from this palette eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to use that in my inner corner of my eyes and a little bit under the brow bone i'm now going to do mascara but what i do is this is actually a duo from lidl a, um, an eyeliner and a mascara for literally like two pound fifty love the eyeliner it's really pigmented really good quality and i just put it on the top of my lash line on the outer corner and it just deepens it up a little bit and it just makes a massive difference like i don't know how like maybe it doesn't and it's just my in my brain but i really love doing that so just like on the outer corner it just thickens um the lash line a little bit like can you see the difference between the two maybe not but we're still living so i'm trying to be quick because filming your makeup is not a quick process <laughs> and there we go so i'm now going to do my mascara and then i'm going to get back to you it's kind of drying up so great Doesn't mascara just make a massive difference? Like, look at that, that's crazy. Alright, mascara done. Can I just point out that if I was going out on a night out, I would not do my eyes after. I would always do my eyes before my foundation, just to prevent any fallout. But if I'm not going out, then that does not bother me one bit. So, lipstick wise, I have actually, now usually people associate sort of autumn makeup looks with like a purple lipstick or a purple kind of like satin lipstick or gloss or anything like that. I associate autumn colours and autumn with browns. So this is a brown um, lip gloss from Primark, had it ages. So I'm gonna pop that on my lips. I think we have completed this look. So let me just take off my headband. Oh no, I've forgotten to set everything in place. I'm going to use this setting spray. This is actually my vitamin C glow energizing face mist from the body shop. This isn't the actual spray. There's literally the tiniest bit of this product left in the bottom. Mix it with water. That's my setting spray. That's what I do. Don't need to waste your money on a setting spray. Just mix it like a toner, a little bit of toner with some water. And it works just as good. Um... Then I'm just gonna mm, pat that in, take my headband off, and this is what we are looking like. So this is the finished autumn makeup. I will sort my hair out somehow, but maybe not for this video. Um, but yeah, this is my take on autumn makeup. I'll zoom you in and everything like that and show you up close and overlay little clips but yeah this is like what i associate autumn with like brownie kind of leaves and like autumnal colors to me are like browns and like orangey colors rather than like a purple lip so this is like what i think autumn is in a little face of makeup um i'm sure this is very basic and simple to some people and maybe not to others but this is just what i'm doing on my channel so yeah 
I would like to say thank you for watching. Oh my god, my hair like is really crazy, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content on my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.